Welcome to this SEGO technical training demonstration. This session will provide a tour of the SEGO IO Director's components and connections. First, let's look at the front of the chassis. The most prominent components are the fan modules. There are four fan modules. Each fan module contains two fans. That means we have eight fans working to keep the chassis cool. The fan modules operate redundantly to each other and they are hot swappable. That means even if a fan fails, the others will keep the chassis from overheating. In fact, up to four fans can fail in any of the fan modules, and the remaining four fans will keep even a fully loaded chassis up and running. We also see two power supplies. They operate redundantly as well. And just like the fan modules, power supplies can be swapped out while the Seco IO director is running. There are two other components visible at the front of the chassis. The first is the System Control Processor, or SCP. As its name implies, the SCP serves as the focal point for all the chassis management. The SCP is a system on a board, with a processor, memory, a hard disk, compact flash storage, and all the management interfaces we will use to communicate with the chassis. The SCP is hot swappable, but the chassis will require a reboot after the SCP is swapped out. The last component is the front panel module. It serves as a carrier for the SCP and passes the management interfaces from the SCP to the rear of the chassis. The front panel module is not hot swappable. Also visible at the front of the chassis are the power button, an ID button, and their corresponding LEDs. These buttons are very small and have a collar, so it makes it pretty much impossible to press these buttons accidentally. You'll need the tip of a pen to press the power or ID buttons. But the power functions and ID LED can also be controlled by management software. As I said, all the cables are routed to the back of the Seco IO director, so let's take a look at the back of the chassis and complete this tour of the components and connections. First, let's look at the components at the back of the chassis. The main feature is the InfiniBand fabric board. It contains the 24 InfiniBand ports used to connect servers or expansion switches to the Seco IO director. The InfiniBand fabric board is not a hot swappable component. Next are the 15 slots that are available for IO modules. Any I.O. module can occupy any of the 15 slots. The I.O. modules can be hot swapped, but you will want to have redundant data paths to ensure constant access to your data. That redundant path should go through another Seago I.O. director to provide the highest level of availability. Finally, let's look at the management module. The management module is always present and always resides in slot 16 on the far right side of the chassis. The management module provides access to a suite of management interfaces we will use to connect to the chassis. And that leads us nicely to the discussion of cables and connections. First, looking at the management module, we see a primary Ethernet and a primary serial port. Both can be used to manage the chassis, but the serial port is required to first configure the Ethernet port. That initial setup procedure is described in another online training session. The second Ethernet port is not used at all, and the second serial port may only be used for diagnostics. The last port on the management module is a USB port. This has many uses, but a common use is to transfer firmware images to the chassis during upgrades. Now we can look at the other connections that make up the data path to and from the Seco IO director. All these connections use standard cables. First, we see two I.O. modules that have one gigabit Ethernet ports. There are also two I.O. modules that contain 10 gigabit Ethernet ports. Lastly, we have two I.O. modules that have four gigabit fiber channel ports. The only connections left to make are the two power cables and the InfiniBand cables connecting the servers or expansion switches to the Seago I.O. director. That completes this tour of the Seago I.O. director components and connections. Thanks for watching.